Hey y'all, we are out here at One Source Trucks in Burkeville, Virginia, uh, taking advantage of a gorgeous uh, December day here in Virginia. Um, excuse the mud, there's nothing we can do about it. It just exists. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at a 2011 uh, International with a Old Dominion brush um, leaf back system on it. Uh, there's a lot to talk about on this truck, so it's probably going to be a little bit of a long video. We're going to show the operations. Um, we're going to suck up some uh, clean pieces of paper um, because we have done a full reconditioning on this rig. Um, but we're going to give you an opportunity to see everything on it. There are probably 100 photos on our website, which is carnetcars.com. That's going to be in your description. Uh, the phone number to call or text is 804-928-928. 9099. I've got Aaron in the truck. He's going to help us out with the operations and go over some of the reconditioning that we did on it. And then I've got Thomas here on the ground as well that's going to help us do the demonstration when we start sucking up some clean paper. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, and get to it. As you can tell, the, the truck starts up under its own power, just as it should. Uh, this is a 2011 International. That was our auxiliary pony motor cranking up. See, no, no hesitation or problems with the operations and startup of either of those. Uh, this is a 44,000 mile system. So it has only 44,000 miles. Uh, 7.6 DT motor. Everyone loves. Probably the most common uh, light, medium duty motor that I see in our trucks. pairs with an Allison automatic transmission, which is ideal because this truck is set up for a uh, one-man operation. I like to say one person, but ODB's brochures all say one-man operation. Um, so Aaron is in the truck by himself, and he is uh, operating from inside the cab right now. I would imagine... Breaking up the suction on this truck. websites and this thing picks up a lot more than paper it picks up debris um, heavy leaves sticks trash I was I say I was impressed and surprised at, uh, at just how much uh, these things pick up they're not messing around Okay, so it looks like we're ready for the, uh, the suction demonstration of the video. We are going to suck up some paper. We're going to rip it into about two foot sections, just so you can see that it works. As you can see, it, uh, it works quite aggressively. <laughs> I personally wanted to put like a 20 pound box to see if it would pick it up, but the guys vetoed that and said I might break something. So I was like, fair, fair. We don't need to break the beautiful truck. Get up underneath the unit, 
I'll show the cab, um, I'll show the frame rails, I'll show under the cab, and I'll talk about um, in a lot of detail the reconditioning that we did on this truck. Now when I use the word reconditioning, this truck came into us gorgeous in much better than average condition, fully functional and operational. And I thought, this truck is too nice not to make it perfect. So we spent probably six weeks and we cosmetically reconditioned this truck. We um, took, it, took off all of your exterior panels and we used uh, industrial grade paint on everything we did. Um, we used the appropriate uh, primer on the inside of your panels that you see here on the outside of the box um, to give them the, the longevity and life that they need. Uh, we went through behind all the panels and we sealed all of the seams after cleaning them out and we used a black sealant. So if you're after taking those panels off and you're looking for any kind of problems or issues, um, we use black sealant. So you're going to be able to see all of that. Everything that we did on this rig was hand prepping. We didn't have to sandblast, or we didn't sandblast anything. So we hand prepped everything. I will, once, once the bed is down, I'll get some better pictures of that for you, or video. Um, but yeah, we, we hand prepped everything on this before we did it. Don't worry, we are gonna pick up the paper, I promise. All right, so the box on this, Thomas, we probably want to grab this paper. Um, didn't think about that. You know what? We, we learning, life lessons. Uh, when I measured this, uh, this box out, it measured at what I estimate is 22 and a half cubic yards. Um, I say I estimate, it might be plus or minus uh, by the uh, manufacturer specs but I measured 13 and a half feet long, just over seven feet wide and six and a half feet tall on your rear box here. So I'll just, it's gonna be a long one. All right, that is a John Deere pony motor. We'll talk about that in a second. Let me get in and show you some of this, y'all. Now there's a lot of dirt on it because it's December and it's, you know, it's just the best I can do, but Look at how clean that is. Even the wood in between your frame rails. This truck um, came from North Carolina. I was told that it was kept inside when it wasn't in use. I believe that. Those are original decals. Y'all, that is a sticker. That is not a plate. That is an original manufacturer's sticker. So when I say this truck is clean, I mean it. You got a dual cylinder, no hydraulic leaks or issues. Let's see. Um, when we reconditioned it, my guys went through the arm. Aaron's gonna pop out in a minute and tell us exactly what they did on that. Uh, let me get some of this undercarriage for you. I hope the glare is not fighting me too bad. Now look, I'm not gonna lie. It's got some lot dirt on it, y'all bear with me. It is all I can do in December to get a video. But, Look at your fittings. Look at your hoses. Look at your air tanks. I mean, if you want a truck that is as good as new, but for a fraction of the price, this is what you're looking at. Now, this is just lot dirt. I need to get the guys to get under here and clean it up because like, that's just my finger. But you can see there's no rust, no corrosion, no problems at all.
Aaron's going to tell us a little bit about what they did over here on the arm. Pretty much went back through with a couple shims, new cotter pins, new bolts. Got grade eight bolts on the turntable. All the way around, those had studs and nuts, so we did an upgrade on that. Went through a couple top hydraulic lines, put in new spacers for the arm so it won't catch the cab or the body. Both sides, measured those. Pretty much went through, straightened a few things out. If I said this earlier, but this is a 44,000 mile truck, which is amazing. Uh, do you want to do the demo in the cab? Okay. Do you want me to come around the other side? Okay. Uh, your grill. Perfect. All right. Look, y'all. There's mud. I, I'm sorry. I just, there's nothing I can do to help that. There's mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> So you've got right and left side drive. Ooh. Got your 44,000 miles. They make it very easy for both sides. Center key, uh, center shifter. Every, all the controls are reachable by both sides. You have your left and right splitter for your throttle uh, controls, all that good stuff. Um, both full dashes. Set up main power. Go to main. Motor motor starts with the button. Don't have to go outside for anything. Joystick. Um, joystick is pretty much primarily right side, but still can still be reached. Um, very simple. Go. Cool. All right. Go back out to the the exterior. I'm gonna show the pony motor a little better. Now look, these panels are off just so I could show it during the video. I'm going to show you these panels in just a second. That's your John Deere pony motor. Y'all, look at this thing. I mean, you want to talk about clean? Come on. These are the panels. We just pulled them off so I could show the inside. But like, even when we reconditioned it, we did the back side of the panel. Like, we didn't, we did not just make this look pretty from 10 feet we actually did all of the reconditioning on this as if it was going to be something i was going to own and put into my like fleet. you can see those are original bolts you can see that original uh this is your hydraulic tank for your pony motor that is your battery for the pony and then that is the fuel tank. This is a diesel fuel powered pony motor. Um, and it has its own uh, tank. It does not run off of the same tank uh, that the truck runs off of. Aaron, can we do one other thing? Um, can we drop the bed and lift the back door so I can show the inside? Doesn't it do that? The rear door does not. Oh, I thought it did. Okay, sorry guys. I must get. Uh, and do the video? Or do the back door? Everything. Yeah, all right. Yep. We're going team effort today. Oh, yeah, we can see better from this side. Oh, yeah, we can see much better from this side. The only thing that we did not re like treat or paint was the inside of this. Um, everyone I talked to who runs these trucks said, eh, not really something that they would worry about. It actually just comes from the factory painted just basic white. So we left the inside of it, but what you can see is that there's no like rust holes, pitting issues. There's no reparative work that needs to be done on the inside of this box. That's just the way that a couple year old box looks. They said after you run it a half dozen times, this is how they all look. Anything that I'm missing, Aaron? No, I mean, you just take the panels off, clear out some of the duct work up top so you have better airflow. Um, I mean, really kind of took it all apart. We did. We did. We did take this truck all apart to recondition it the right way. 
So like these external panels, they weren't just painted on the truck. Each one was taken off and they were painted independently. And like I said, we treated the, um, the underside of those panels with primer. Uh, you've got good, fat, meaty Michelins on the back. Um, I can't think of anything else on this truck to really discuss right now. Um, but if you have any other questions or comments, let us know. I know this has been a long video. Um, check out our website because I did find a really cool um, distributor manufacturer video that shows this exact system um, in operations. Quite impressive. Um, I'm going to be honest. I, after doing all this reconditioning and cleaning on this truck, I could not bring myself to suck up a bunch of dirt and debris and grossness. <laughs> I was like, it's too clean. Um, so the phone number to call or text is 804-928-9099. Again, that's 804-928-9099. Um, oh gosh, what did I do with that whole manual? We also have the full um, like 100 plus page operations manual for this truck that I can give you a printed copy of or um, email over to you, whichever is easier. So thanks for checking it out. More pictures and details at carnetcars.com.